what initiatives, what measurable um, outcomes do we see happening right now to address this? I mean, the stats are really horrendous. Globally, 5.1 billion people don't have meaningful access to justice. We know that 73% of people um, from ethnic minorities in the United Kingdom have reported they face racial discrimination. We know that across Latin America, people of African descent represent 25% of the population aged 25 years and above, but they can only account um, for 12% of those with, you know, certain level of degree. And in the United States, one out of every three black boys born today can be expected to be sentenced to prison compared to one out of six Latino boys, one out of 17 white boys. I mean, the stats are just horrible. And not to, I mean, that's just what the, stat, the statistics have been able to grab. Um, if we know that there are so many lived experiences that there are no stats for. So I would like to hear from you first, um, Professor Tuli, um, what ambitious initiatives and programs are driving measurable progress at the community level, in your opinion? If I use South Africa as an example, there are various programs, and they're covering five areas where the legacy of colonialism and apartheid can be felt psychological, excluding, which includes stigmatization of people on the basis of race. There are programs that are looking at economic exclusion, and, and therefore they're focusing on economic inclusion. And then there are those that are looking at social inclusion in areas such as education, health, housing, etc. And then there is political inclusion, which I said we've already done quite admirably. And then lastly, legal inclusion, which looks at making justice accessible to left behind groups and communities. Just on psychological inclusion that is combating racism, there's the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation, who was one of the Robin Island a, a, a companions of Nelson Mandela. They've been very consistent in creating platforms for dealing with racism. The Human Rights Foundation has also been creating platforms for discussing racism. The Tuma Foundation, which is a foundation I founded, discusses democracy. It's, it's about democracy leadership and the democracy leadership and literacy. And in these demologues, so something we call democracy dialogues, there are various topics that are discussed and at some stage, uh, racism is often discussed. For example, today, our demologue, which was Women Ready to Lead, was discussing racism in the light of Sharpville Day, which is the day when 69 people were murdered by the state purely because they were black people rejecting racial oppression. At the University of Stellenbosch, where I am, we have come up with something that is extremely ambitious. It is called the Musa Plan for Social Justice, like the Marshall Plan, which was for European recovery. And the idea is to bring everyone on board to look at everything, a polydimensional approach to social justice, using the constitution as a leverage and using sustainable development plan. What it has done is what Lord Simon has mentioned. It has given people an opportunity to appreciate that the shadow of the past is here with us. So acknowledging that across political parties, and some kind of commitment that is growing every day that we all have to do something about it. In other words, we need a new deal. I like that very much and very well said. We need a new deal.